Hi guys, today we are off on a road trip to Killeen Castle in Ayrshire. So we're doing a photo shoot with McGregor and Duff, the Everyday Man blog and doing some live stuff. And then we're gonna have some fun because it's a castle. Coop is in the back, he's all ready. That was his nose. The car is clean. The again. car is clean. This is important. If you live in Dundee, there are a lot of seagulls everywhere. And as we've discussed before, where else is it important to keep clean? Your bum. <laughs> We've just arrived at the Killeen Castle in Country Park. It's lovely, I mean, I mean, it's a lot of like landscaped garden and estate ground, but it is really quite stunning. Um, we'll go up and show you like the castle grounds first. There's quite a few little walking trails that we'll be able to do later on once we've done them with the photo shoot. Uh, we've got a beautiful day for it. I am probably gonna get sunburned again. Uh, <laughs> that's becoming like standard practice now. Uh, fun, fun. So this is us just coming out of the car park towards Killeen Castle. Obviously been, you know, really heavily restored. I believe you can stay here. So we're just going to use the facilities because <laughs> we are in dire, dire need of that. It didn't stop once. It did not stop once. Two and a half hours. Just bomb and burn it. it. From Dundee. Yeah, so we'll check it out. We'll keep updating as we go. We're just in the shade at the minute. The buildings behind us are the Scottish National Trust buildings. We're about to head down to Killeen Castle. But I'm just going to show you the view from here. So we're just under some trees at this area, about 250 years old, which is amazing. You can see out to Arran. Over there in the distance, just past the trees, you can see over towards Arran, which would be amazing to get to. And then down towards Killeen Castle itself. Just there through the trees. So we're going to walk down there just now. So here we are, this is the sort of outer ruined arch heading in towards the castle. It was founded in 1569, so it's got a long history. It's obviously been remodelled at various points. But you can see it is truly stunning. It's got these like ruined colonnades on the sides. We mean like the checking gate. And we're coming up over the high wall bridge entrance. I'm just going to show you down there. Yeah, amazing. I'm walking on just now is actually a viaduct from 1775 as part of works to sort of change what the castle was doing. So this part is actually newer than some of the older ruins. I've got a lot more sort of sandstone where just look at these grounds they're incredible so we've got a photo shoot here today somewhere um, <laughs> wherever that is i was walking around hoping to see some men in kilts or something it says so 1945 this was handed over to the national trust of scotland uh, just look at this i mean you can see some of the older foundations there that have obviously been added onto like with the change in color from the stones then heading down, this is the view just over the edge here. Right down over the coast. So up towards air. We got Aaron in the distance. And then just through the mist, more islands. The swallows are really running around it. Quite a lot today. The photo shoot that wasn't a photo shoot is finished. And so we're just out exploring the grounds of Killeen Castle now. And this is one of the orangeries. So we've got the lavender beds around the edges and then orange trees. And during 19th century, lots of these were springing up in Scotland. So you could grow your own oranges at home. And Killeen Castle had about three orangeries. Mm -hmm. But it's also really nice light for taking photos. And the small smell. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> But it smells amazing. It smells amazing, which is nicer than the usual smell of dog that comes with us everywhere. Out onto Castle Grounds. 
We have some cannons leading around into this yard. I think we're gonna head through. So this is the brew house flat. And Cooper Jeez. is roaming illegally. Cooper is roaming illegally. How dare he? Not on the leash. Oh look, there's a little like pagoda down here. Let's go there. Let's go there. Oh my goodness, go it's there. beautiful. So the brew house flat is like a private residence. I wonder if we can stay there or if somebody lives there anyway. So currently following the trail down to the beach, I'm following signs for battery. Just went past a little sort of pagoda with just, you know, like seven or eight cannons just casually there as you do. This does look amazing. So let me just turn you around so you can see maybe down through the trees. Nah, not so much. You'll see in a second. So we followed the trail down to the boat house. So this is where they used to keep like some yachts, but then also eventually a lifeboat. And the view is amazing. So right out towards Aaron, and then down the coast. And we're gonna go have a wee splash, I think. Well, we'll see. Water is super clear. Just make out the heads of two curlews that are just out there. And some fresh water. Well, no saltwater crabs Papa. scuttling around. Oh, jellyfish. Yeah, don't touch the jellyfish, Coop. We are being really spoilt by weather this summer. Like it is really remarkably beautiful this year. Don't remember us getting this last year, do you? No, the last year was not even remotely yet. No, not at all. Daria, I hereby charge you with being guilty of being guilty. <laughs> it's wonderful, right? Wonderful. It's wonderful. There's no better feeling than the kilted feeling. No. So we're here at this little beach house. So you just buy, it's got two doors and a little window. I'm quite sure what it's for. Whether it's just like a lookout station or what. But quite charming. You can tell the side that's been like battered by the wind just here. It's all eaten away and really gouged out and the other side is actually a much better neck. You can hear the curlews not happy that there's a dog on their beach, can you? So we're just walking back up through the woods and we notice like a really strong smell. And I actually see the little white flowers there and the broader leaves. That is wild garlic. Such a strong smell coming up here at this time. I usually actually pick some leaves of that and actually chuck it in salads. I did it, but also like some badgies with it through it. It's pretty good. So after trying to find some food at Killeen Castle and in Ayr, we kind of gave up and just sort of came back and break up the trip via Glasgow. So we stopped in at a place called Mono, which is just behind, because mm -hmm. um, they do a really good selection of vegetarian and vegan food. So we're waiting for our food and we'll obviously show you once we get it. They have live music here often. Yeah. I used to go there when I was younger. I used to come here years ago. So I used to come through here on a Friday night. And I used to come through to Stereo on a Wednesday night for their tapas night. Um, it was like 10 tapas for like, no, it was like five tapas for a tenner. It was amazing. It was all vegan. It was great. Yum, yum, yum. I've caught the sun again today. Yeah, me too. Who's that? So I'm making Daria wait. So I've got a seitan burger and she has got a sage and walnut pesto pizza and as you can see she's quite delighted by this. I need to eat. I need to eat. 